Rob Ford's first few hours in Chicago were supposed to be limited to a photo op, but that turned into a bizarre encounter between the mayor, the public, and the press. Get him a big football right in the middle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Chicago's famous Bean, the first stop on the mayor's tour of the Windy City. Rob Ford liked what he saw, and tourists had plenty of good things to say to him about Toronto. What do you like about our city the most? Just it's a walk. It's like Chicago. It's a great it's walk a, town. It's, it's a lot it of is. fun. Hi, how are you? Good. I'm Rob. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Excellent. But those friendly moments gave way to a strange exchange with this tourist when the mayor seemed a little confused about Canadian geography. <laughs> Oh, Manitoba. Oh, you're in Manitoba. Where? Windsor. <laughs> Windsor? Yeah. Asked to defend the potential of the 60 person trade mission, Ford had this to say. For just seeing stuff like this, seeing uh, Chicago, you know, it, it, you go around the world. Um, I'd love to say Toronto. People, I think, know Chicago more than they know Toronto. And why? Because they have iconic. You know, things like this, it's, it's amazing. But the mayor couldn't escape the news from back home. Do, do your homework. I, did, I paid for it last year. Once again, reporters peppered Mayor Ford with questions about alleged misuse of city resources for his personal football charity. The mayor didn't take too kindly to that. <laughs> Are you going to be sleeping with me tonight? <laughs> I, hope <not. laughs> I hope not too. Please go home. Go, go where you came from. Are man. you going to continue to allow oh, city resources to oh, be a part of please. the football foundation? Holy crow. We're right in an over, okay? How does this great jobs? The real work of the trade mission takes place on Wednesday. That's when Mayor Ford sits down with Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel to re-sign a sister city agreement. There's lunch with the U.S. Ambassador before a tour of the city's lakefront. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Chicago.